Hey everybody, Gideon's Tactical here. Uh, we're gonna do a, kind of a review slash comparison for uh, those of you out here um, looking for a comparison between an XDM and an, uh, F, an FNX9. Um, they're both nine millimeters. This is the XDM 4.5 inch barrel, nine millimeter, this is clear. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Um, you've seen a review uh, of this, so um, we're gonna kind of let the, my brother, he owns um, an FNX9, um, and uh, I'm gonna let him just kind of share a little bit what he likes and doesn't like about it, and then uh, we'll just kind of give you the, the last co little comparison and um, kind of take it from there. So Nate, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the FNX9? Yeah, for sure. So um, this guy's clear as well. Nothing in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that as well for us. So, um, just gonna hit a few things. Um, I guess I'll start out. So this is FN, made in the U.S. Um, it's got a four inch uh, hammer forged steel barrel. Um, nine millimeter again, like Aaron said. Um, uh, similar to his in some ways, different in some. The thing that I really like about the FN um, is that it's got uh, the external hammer here. I really like that. It's got the external um, safety as well here. Um, so you got safety and then you also have your de the, the decocker there because um, this is a double action uh, pull. So it can be double action or single action. Um, you use the safety lever right there to uh, decock the hammer. Um, the thing that I like about the external safety is that it's, it's there um, to be used. I don't like the um, the, the safeties that are on the XD here, you've got the rear, um, the rear handle one and then the one on the trigger. Um, in my mind, a safety should be something that lets me hold the gun and pull the trigger and it not go off. That's what safety means to me. Um, not one that you can hold, you pull the trigger, it's going to fire around. That just doesn't seem to make sense to me. So I like that. Um, this is fully ambidextrous. So you've got, um, your, uh, magazine release here on both sides as well as the safety here on both sides. So I really like that um, about it as well. You know, you don't have to take it to the table to do any work to do that. Um, so another thing about it here is uh, it's got this little, um, if I can show you here really quick. So it went around chambered, this little guy pops out, shows a little red dot. Um, it's a little hard to see um, as you're looking down the barrel. So it's not all super helpful in that way. Um, it lets you know, you know, when you're pulling it out, that kind of thing, if there's a round chambered or not, which is, which is nice. Um, the XD does the same thing. It just does it a little differently with the, um, little guy there popping up. Um, so that's that, uh, polymer handle, um, really, it's a really light gun, um, 17 plus one capacity. Um, this is the mag right here. So the magazine, I like about it that um, it's got the full all the way down uh, f 4 through 17. So you can see um, really qu uh, quickly, really clearly how many rounds you have in there um, in your magazine. And I like, the, uh, I like that these are black as well as opposed to the silver ones um, that come standard with the XD. Um, so this guy comes with uh, three 17 round mags um, and then four back straps. So this right here is the back strap. Uh, this is the larger one. I have a, I wear like a large size glove. So I have the larger one on here. So it comes with um, one that lays flat and then this larger one here, uh, two a piece, two flat ones, two of the larger ones. So two, two checkered, a uh, large and a flat. And then the other ones just have like straight lines down. Um, and that's one a piece, one for the large one for the flat one as well. Um, so I really love this gun. I put about 500 rounds through it. Um, the first one I had did have a few issues on jamming with me. It jammed um, somewhere between about 10 and 15 times with my first like 200 or 300 rounds. So I sent that one back in, got a, got a new one uh, from the company and this one has worked great um, since then. Had one or two jams, one was with my girlfriend. So um, that one I just attribute to, you know, limp wristing the pistol. Um, so really e easy field strip. So with the slide back here, you just pop this down 90 degrees, bring it forward, boom, right there. Got your recoil spring, pull that out, the uh, barrel comes right out of there. Another thing that's cool about it is the long um, metal uh, slides here um, on, the, on the handle itself. 
Um, so I really like that. Some pistols have smaller ones. Um, this is really nice and long. Um, so it's just, you know, it's a really, just attributes itself to a really nice, clean action and everything like that. So, and then just putting it back together, it's just the same thing in reverse. So it's really nice. Um, I like it a lot. One thing that I, that I think I like better about the XD um, is the, uh, the sighting on it. If you take a look here, um, so it's got the small two white dots on the rear sight, and then it's got this big one up front. Not quite sure I like that as much as the XD. So the XD has the same size um, dots up front and uh, in the rear. I just feel like this one covers your target a little bit too much, so you're, it's, a little, uh, it's a little bit imprecise with the size of it. Um, it's nice to, to see, but if you're trying to be really precise, it does kind of get in the way a little bit, I feel like. So um, that's just kind of an overview for you guys. Uh, these are this is the XDM again. The, that's the FNX9. Um, these are very uh, similar in price. I think this one's about 600. This one's like 640. So very similar in price. Um, and uh, you know, just like what my brother said, uh, I just like Springfield a lot. Um, I do wish that it had an external hammer. I like the external hammer idea and the external um, actual safeties. I don't really care for these either. Um, you know, I, I really wouldn't carry this probably concealed carry um, or a smaller XD concealed carry because of, I mean, that's all the safety is, is right here, and then this, and that's it. Um, I do like the external safeties that the um, FN has versus the XD, um, but si similar in almost every other form, you know, steel uh, slides, polymer handles, adjustable grips, um, you know, the slides come out very quickly. This is a 19 plus one whereas this is a 17 plus one, but this one only comes with two mags in a box. This one comes with three mags in a box. Um, so it's really up to you, your preference. The, the only other thing that kind of concerned me, uh, I had an XD uh, that I put about 6,000 rounds through, never jammed once on me. I put about like 3,000 rounds through this XDM, haven't had a single jam. Um, and just the, the issues that my uh, brother had with the first model and then the one jam, I mean, thankfully it's not messing up too much now, but um, that just kind of worries me a little bit. Um, so. Uh, just kind of take that in consideration that there is a possibility of jamming, but this definitely has a really good feel to it um, and just kind of what my brother said overall. Um, so this, hopefully this will just kind of help you if you're kind of trying to figure out which one you want. Very similar in price, very similar guns. Um, both have uh, great, you know, um, track records and uh, both, you know, made in America. So uh, you're not going to regret either purchase, I, I think. So hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.